Hello everybody! And welcome to The Diaries. Yeah. Well, I did it again. I did it again. I made another episode and forgot to put in an introduction. <gasps> so this is the introduction. And the introduction is a little bit cockeyed, I noticed. But hey, so what? Anyway, this episode. Working on the Haunted Mansion. Some more. Some more. Um, some really cool stuff on this one. And um, you see that my... You see that my gargle back here has got his candles lit. Well, I went out and I... I didn't actually went out. I went out to my computer table. So I went in and I sat down and I ordered some candles that are... Yep. Remote controlled. Pachuga. Look at that. You're still lit. Z oh, Zamini. There we go. See, and I actually have candles all over Dark Slade Manor that have these. Oops, I'm turning them all off. That are all remote. And I did that so I can turn on my lights and enjoy my environment. Environment. Whenever I want, without having to climb up and down chairs and stuff like that and flick switches and all like that. I still have some that I have to do that too, but I'm going to replace those when I get the opportunity. So that's one of the things that actually already happened. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned anything about it. I don't think I did. But uh, I had to do some work on the old... On the old gargoyle back over here, which is in this episode. And some new the Haunted Mansion stuff that is so cool. And you'll see that on here. So, um, I think that's all the introduction that is necessary at this point in time. So, without any further ado, let's get going. A new box today. I haven't opened it yet, but I did cut the tape. And then I realized, oh, I forgot to uh, go through the explanation here. This is for the Haunted Mansion. I know what it is, but I not, don't know what it looks like yet. And it's going to, I've been keeping it a secret, but it's, once I pull these out, it's going to kind of blow the secret. But this is what I've gotten so far for building what I'm doing here. We recognize that. That's for building shelves or eaves or whatever. I have four of these. I am building two things. Let me see if I can find the bot there. We go. And you recognize this. These are those lights, LED lights. And I need this to illuminate. I have two of these also. Okay, here we go. This is very exciting. Like I said, I have not seen what's in here yet. It's full of paper. this is but these are the heads from the haunted mansion that follow you wherever you go see they're supposed to look like vegetables like busts but you see them from behind and they follow you wherever you go both of them yep they're both in here Past you. Here. Or I'm going to try something here. Oh, it works. Not the most detailed in the world, but they do work. So now, what I have to do is build the cases for these. They're just going to be really simple wood boxes. The shelves will hold them up. These are these are like 
actual size, so they're pretty big. And uh, yeah. so that is my current Tyler Mansion project. I have something else coming, which I will show you when it happens. All right, what I'm going to do with these. And I took these in the other room where it was dark yesterday, and I put the light on behind it, and they, they look pretty good. They do look pretty good. They're not quite as detailed, obviously, but they are vacuum forms, from what I understand, off the original, so there you go. But in any case, I'm going to paint, not that side, this side, I'm going to paint all of this black. And whereas I don't want to use spray paint because I don't want to accidentally get paint in here, and I want to use a water base in case I do, I'm going to run down to... Um, Hobby Lobby and pick up some flat black poster paint and a couple of wide brushes so I can do these and um, I need to before I go I need to take measurements so I know how big the frame is that I'm going to make for this and I might as well look into picking that stuff up as well but I gotta get this taken care of first now someone uh, who has used one of these before suggested, oh, just cut around it. Well, no! <laughs> I'm not going to cut around it because then I can't mount it properly. This way I can mount it within the frame, put my overhangs over it, which is going to be my trim, and um, this is going to be about that deep. So, um, I'm going to go do that right now. Alright, I have to paint this around here black very carefully. I have foam brushes and I have my uh, tempera paint. Now what I have is an old container that I used to use for snacks and stuff like that. I have like five million of these so it's not a big deal. And uh, I'm going to This is also thicker than acrylic, which is good, because I want something that's thick. And take one of these out. Carefully put this over here. And this is gonna work just fine and dandy. Well, here it is. Now, I didn't really have to paint it black all the way to the edges. The uh, very edge here is for behind the display when I slide it in or it can be cut off. But um, I had to get as close to the edges as I could. I think it came out fine. Um, looking from the front, it, you know, up close with the lights on, yeah, it looks kind of goofy. But, uh, I've seen what it looks like when it's lit from behind. And even with all the white plastic coming through, it's pretty cool. I just might look kind of mysterious with the light behind me and I'm in the shadows. But it's actually kind of, well, it's kind of late. I don't normally do stuff this late at night. It's uh, 10.45. But there's something that I, I need to at least get started, and I want to see if I can take it down. I have to take down the gargoyle because his sound cord isn't working, and I can't work on it while he's up there. Now, if I design this properly, <laughs> yeah, right, um, the whole unit should come down without any problem. If I designed it the way I think I did, um, I'm going to have to wait till morning because I'm going to have to pull the... the um, screws out, the, the sheetrock screws, uh, which is what, why, how it's hanging up there. Now, it, it doesn't weigh a lot, so it didn't need to have anything, you know, much heavier than that. There we go. I don't know why this stopped working. Oh, 
you know, it's thermostat cable. And I got it in the dark brown. So theoretically, I can run this down the wall in the corner. I'll have to put it tight in the corner. And this is stiff wire, stiff cable. So I should be able to get it in there, secure it down without it being too obtrusive, and then run it down here up to my desk where I can operate it from. I don't always endorse a product, but when I do, it's because I use it. Alright, I'm going to endorse something, and I'll tell you what it is. Something I tried the other day, and it was amazing, and it's, the company is called Big Easy Foods, okay? And this is chicken and sa sausage, chicken, sausage, chicken. Chicken and sausage gumbo. Now you guys know me and gumbo. We have a very special relationship. I love it. All over the place. And I don't like bad gumbo. Well, I bought this at the dollar store. That's right, the 99 cent store. That's the only place I've actually seen it. It's $1.99. And I figured, what the heck? It's two bucks, I'll give it a shot. Well, there is a good and a bad about this. The bad thing is, it looks like, you know, it, it, it's a pretty thick box. Looks like it's pretty full stuff, pretty heavy. Yeah. Well, the bowl that's in there is about <laughs> one third full. So it is not exactly stuffed to the gills. That's a downside. The upside is, it's really, really good. I mean, it is. Um, it, 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 it does not taste like a frozen meal. These are really awesome. And they make a whole bunch of them. I have several in my refrigerator right now. I'm sure they're really high in sodium. I keep leaning this way because I'm looking at stuff. Oh, it's the print is so small I couldn't tell anyway. If the print's this small, then there must be no sodium in it. Um, yeah, 32%. Of your daily allotted amount, so there's a, there's a bit of sodium in there, but you don't eat like nine of them at a time. You only eat one. So I am endorsing it now. Like I said, it's at the ninety nine cent store. If you have a ninety nine point nine cent store, I guess they call it out here in Arizona. If you don't have one near you, I don't know if you can find these anywhere else. But it's Big Easy Foods, and uh, they're really, really good. And there you go, an endorsement by me. 115 people got an endorsement. Woohoo! Provided you all showed up and watched this episode. Okay, it is Thursday. I do not work today. I have wasted the morning like an idiot. Now it's time to get some things done. Yeah, they can't give me a copyright claim on my own music. I have them Dark Slate Diaries. <laughs> Play See? Playing in the background. Let me turn it down. Hang on. Now, the reason I have Diaries playing in the background right now on my TV off of YouTube is because I put on the uh, one of the road trip episodes. Uh, the most recent one to Disneyland. Because it keeps me motivated a little bit. And I need to be motivated so I can keep going here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try to cable this bad boy up. Then I've got these two that I need to finish painting and get started on the box for that. And what was the other thing? I want to kind of straighten up the uh, hauntedness of my mansion because... Um, things have kind of shifted around a little bit, and it's not because I smack into them or anything like that. It's because whenever you close this door over here, um, or uh, my upstairs neighbor closes their door like this, <coughs> it causes everything to uh, shift around. And it's kind of a mess, and we don't want to get rid of that. Also, I need to take the big Haunted Mansion poster down. So, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, new cable's in. It's 70 miles long and wrapped around my shoe. 
and so I'm pulling things around. So, so far so good. The switch is now cleverly hidden um, by the keyboard under here. You can probably see that little cable there. You gotta fasten that up. And the gargoyle is yonder. And here we go. Check it out. So it works! Alright, I got my black foam core. This is what foam core looks like. It is basically a kind of a board. The middle of it, you can't see with the lights behind me, is um, styrofoam. It's tightly compressed. And then the outside is like poster. It's a satin finish and I have a big one and I have a little one. Now, the boxes that I need to make are 17 and a half by 12 by 9. So it's about this deep. And I have those supports that I bought. You remember those big wooden uh, supports there. And I may not even need to use them. I don't know. I might use them for something else. Because this thing isn't going to weigh very much at all. Um, but I need to also make a frame for these things so they look, you know, like it's a, you know, like, like it, it's supposed to be, like it is a wall hanging. And I don't want to just a uh, foam core box with a face in it. So there's still a few things out to go. But first I got to finish painting the black on these here, these here vestibules. Okay, so top and bottom pieces for them. side pieces and the back too. Now when I was cutting this I was going okay now I need two back pieces for each one. One to hold the uh, head and then one for the light. But went, oh, wait what am I thinking? The head can't be held in by a piece because the light has to shine through them. So uh, I basically just need to put an edge around them. So I got to repaint, or not repaint, but um, put a second coat of paint on the heads, um, on the rim around the outside, and then this will be ready to assemble. Now the one thing that I'm going to need is a trim to go around the front of it, because it's going to look just like a black, you know, a funky black box. And we want it to look um, like it's... Uh, a shelf, you know, like a, like it's a, what are those things called? The, um, blue bonnet! No, um, alcove. But it sticks out, actually. It hangs out from the wall. Because I can't very well punch a hole in my walls to put this in. That would be a big no-no. Yeah. So, um, it's coming along. Alright, I have finished one of the bust boxes. It's right here. You can't see it, but you will in a second. Here it is. Now, the thing is this one. This is just the box, okay? It holds the, uh, the vestibule, and it follows you wherever you go. Probably hard to tell like that, but I'll move them around so you can see. Anyway, um, it's lit from the back, right uh, color tint on the light. Um, what I need to do is build the frame for the front of the box. So, uh, but it's coming along. It is coming along, and I'm kind of surprised at, uh, at it. The, fa the fact that this box is made entirely out of foam core, and it's pretty darn sturdy, so it, that's really cool. So I'll take care of that, take down the poster, roll it up. Um, I need to do something to this wall. But I think in the meantime, I'm just going to hang them up there once I get them done. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. We are done. Aren't you stunned? Stunned, I tell you. The fact that the backdrop at the end is exactly the same as the backdrop from the beginning of this episode. 
Yeah. Well, you know that I started this episode. <laughs> I had filmed it and forgot to uh, put the intro in. So I'm doing the exit at the same time I'm doing the intro. Next episode, we're going to take then their uh, vestibules, the busts, that I've been working on, and we're going to hang them up and finish those off. And um, I had something else in mind. Oh, yes, I remember. Uh, I have uh, some new items coming to uh, add to the whole ambiance. So uh, we will have those pretty soon. And um, some other things that are going on as far as uh, haunting our mansion here. And also, um, uh, the, the Adventureland porch, I'm thinking of taking down, tearing down the awning and rebuilding it. Because, man, that bamboo, that rattan just split here, there, and everywhere. And every time I look at it, it leans a little bit further off to one side. So we're going to have to do something about that. That's for darn sure. Anyway, that'll be part of what happens in the next episode. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week or several. End of line.